Game Ranks presents 10 of the best time manipulation games. Let's go back in time to number 10. Sorry. Singularity is a first-person shooter with some time manipulation elements that was a bit of an underrated hit. The game's plot revolves around a time manipulation device that the main character gets a hold of. And then you as the main character have the ability to move an object forward or backwards in time, attract something and hold it indefinitely in a sphere, send pulses of energy that can stun enemies, and just stop time. But manipulating objects literally through time turned out to be the game's most unique point. Unfortunately, the game is a little bit of a by-the-numbers first-person shooter, but it's still worth checking out. Number 9. Shadow of Destiny is a murder mystery adventure game and was kind of an underrated hit for the PlayStation 2. Created by the makers of Silent Hill, this Konami game actually centers around a convoluted story that centers on solving a mystery of your very own murder by going back in time to change events that led up to your death. While it's a very slow and dialogue-oriented game, it's actually pretty legit. At under six hours, it's a bit of a short game, but as the player, there's a lot to do and figure out in different time periods, and there's a lot of really cool plot twists. Number eight. Time Splitters 2, or as some of you might call it, one of the best split screen shooters of all time. Time Splitters 2 is the first time splitter game to actually feature a single player adventure in which you chase the time splitters across time. Every level is a different time period, and it's really freaking cool. It really shines in multiplayer because every environment is completely different. If I, I, are we really doing this right now? Time Splitters 2? Have you played it? You should. Number 7. Time Shift is a 2007 first-person shooter. This is another first-person shooter with time manipulation gameplay, but unlike Singularity, Time Shift's first-person shooting is actually pretty awesome. Time Shift's time controls are pretty basic, slowing, stopping, and rewinding time. That being said, in a first-person shooter, it makes it pretty cool because you can dodge bullets and steal other people's weapons. There's also a couple of time-related puzzles, but they're fairly easy. But if you're looking for a good, quick, fun, and a little bit unique first-person shooter, Time Shift is definitely your game. Alright, I'm assuming most of you guys already know how good Dishonored is, because, uh, really? The cool ability in Dishonored that I didn't really use until my second playthrough was Bend Time. Bend Time was the ability to slow down time to an absolute crawl, and you can dodge bullets, take enemies' bullets out of their guns, and then you can even fire bullets into the slow-mo air, and then hit them with your dagger and make them go flying at enemies. It's really cool. Dunwall is already a really fun game environment to play in, but it's even cooler when you're messing with people in time. Number 5. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time is a third-person action-adventure puzzle platform game based off of the original classic, The Prince of Persia. In The Sands of Time, you guide the prince as he backflips, wall runs, sword chops, solves puzzles, and goes on a swashbuckling adventure while using The Sands of Time. Now, not only can you rewind time in the game if you die or make a stupid mistake, but time plays an important aspect in combat. Get a good enemy in a combo and then use your dagger of time to freeze him in place and then finish him off. It makes for a challenging, engaging, and really different combat. Prince of Persia Sands of Time is just a really special game. I know I've been telling you guys to play a lot of the games on this list, but seriously, go play Sands of Time. Number 4. Here's another obvious one, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. The Ocarina of Time is just such a special Zelda game because it takes place over such a vast period of time. Not only do you play as young Link and then an older, aged, and more badass Link, but you also just get to see Hyrule in different periods of time. And ultimately, these different time periods are two completely different characters. I just remember originally playing this game, going into the Temple of Time, and then having everything change once I pulled out the Master Sword. It's just such a memorable game. I really think I'm preaching to the choir here. Number 3. Man, the further we get on this list, the more I just feel like this list is just so awesome. Max Payne is just one of the greatest time manipulation games ever, because it's the Matrix. Yes, in all of the Max Payne games, you have the ability to go into bullet time, which is basically slow motion shootout mode. In bullet time mode, you can run around in slow motion, or you can do epic John Woo dives with two handguns shooting and explosions, and it's just so great. And even for an older game, the original two still hold up and look absolutely gorgeous in slow motion, with bullets whizzing, explosions exploding in slow motion, and it's awesome. And Max Payne 3 is no slow slouch either. Number 2. Life is Strange is an episodic, interactive, graphic adventure point-and-click type of game developed by Dot Not Entertainment. The game centers around Maxine, who discovers that she has the ability to manipulate time. Now, in the first episode, without spoiling anything, when she discovers this, it's really cool and leads to some interesting moments. I can't talk about it much more without talking about spoilers, so I'm not. But basically, Life is Strange kind of feels like the butterfly effect. Remember that movie? This is pretty cool. The episodes are still releasing at the time of this video, so definitely check it out. It's worth your time. Number 1. Braid is a now classic platform and puzzle video game. It seems like just a gorgeous 2D hand-drawn platformer 
but there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of puzzles in this game, and they all have to be solved through manipulating time, and each world in the game has its own time-based mechanic. In Braid, you can rewind time and undo your actions. You can also manipulate objects through time. You can change time and place. You can also warp the general flow of time, and in the final world, time just flows in reverse. The game and its time manipulation aspects definitely get a lot more complicated and more challenging as the game goes on, and it's definitely worth seeing through to the end. It's not that long anyway, but it's definitely worth checking out, and that's why it's number one on our list. So guys, those were 10 of the best time manipulation games out there. Of course, there's many more, so let us know what we missed in the comments below. What time travel and time manipulation games do you like the most? But anyway, if you had a good time, maybe like this video because it really helps us out. And subscribing is even better because we do videos like this and giveaways all the time. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.